Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another haul video. So this time around, I managed to get some things at the Antique Mall where I have two booths in to sell online, a couple items from that place. And then I also went to Goodwill. So I have a few different things to show you. Let's take a look. All right, we're gonna start right over here first. These are the items that I picked up at the 10 Pen Antique Mall in Carlisle, Illinois. I currently have two booths there that I sell in. They are eight by eight booths, and I currently also have a request in for a third booth. Now that may be happening sometime in February. I was thinking it might happen in January, but as it turns out, they're taking a long time to figure out if they have that particular booth available. And that's just because they're waiting on the current person that's in there to kind of move, I guess, and get out of there. But all said, I'm really lucky to be getting a third booth at all because it is pretty, and it's a pretty in-demand mall. There is a waiting list. However, there are two waiting lists. Uh, one waiting list if you are currently in the mall and you'd like another space, and another if you're not in the mall. And they take the first list first. They take precedence over if you've already had a booth there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I managed to pick up to resell online at that mall. So actually I'm going to start right here because these are like the cutest things. They were only $10 for the set of three. Seahorse, Nautical, all of this kind of stuff is very popular online. And these are ceramic, not chalk and they're so awesome. You would hang these on the wall. They're pink with accents of this blue. $10 is what I paid. I think I'm gonna list these for about 75 with free shipping, domestic in the US, but they are awesome. Really, I don't see much in the way of chips or anything like that, so really happy with that purchase. Also over here, I picked up these butterflies. These, these are those home interior type things that were really popular in the 70s, 80s. But they sell online for about $20 for a set of three like this. So that was a good pickup and I paid $3. They, this whole booth was on sale 50% off. So I think this one was three, two, one, three. Yeah, that makes sense. And then half of that, that was the original price. So had to pick those up. I've been eyeing them for a long time, but they were just a little too steep at $6 for me. Over here, this was a really spectacular pickup, I think. This is in a booth that I do know the seller, and I run into her sometimes at auction, but <laughs> she only had $3 on this. I thought that was spectacular. So this is made in the 40s or 50s. It's like a milk glass or opal glass with this really pretty gold accenting. It's kind of like a tufted look. And there are grape vines painted on here. And it is signed right there. No big markings that you can really tell. I did do some research, but of course I forgot what I researched. <laughs> yeah, I should have wrote it down. It's, goodness gracious. It's Consolidated Glass Company, I believe. But there it is, awesome, and I had to grab it for $3. I'm waiting to hear back from someone who has a Worth Point subscription. I, I sent them a message so that they could see if they could find out how much this sold for. I was just very curious. If it's under $30, I'm just gonna keep it. I was planning on keeping it to begin with, but you know, if it's one of those things where it goes for like 40 or $50, I'll list it. Now it is in really good shape. There is one chip here that I did not notice at first, but all considering it's in really good shape, paints held up really well. Okay, that's enough of that really awesome piece. Oh, by the way, it's a biscuit jar, if you're wondering, biscuit, cookie, um, there it is, really cool. This here I had to grab. Oh, I cut myself this morning with the, uh, what's that called? That blade, that, yeah, for box, box cutter. Anyways, so <laughs> this is awesome here. It's porcelain, really, really neat. It's a lion holding a shield. There was at least 20 different versions of this one thing, all made by different artists at, and I don't know if I can even pronounce this, uh, well, there it is if you want to pronounce it yourself. It's the ending is B-U-R-G, Berg, and that is over in Europe and Belgium, Belgium, I believe. So 
really cool. This piece here is dated between 1976 and 19, 1975 and 1996, I believe. And that's because that little A is written below the logo and it's green. That's a kind of a green logo there. Really cool. And the artist is signed right here on the side. If you can read that, B or no, R-A-U-C-H right there. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's different versions of these. You can actually go to their website, this Nymphenburg website, and they have these on there. Prices are not available. You have to request a price. So I did that. I was hoping to hear back and, and see what these go for if you wanted to buy them straight from the the maker but the quality is great i paid two dollars and fifty cents for this by the way one listing is currently out there online and they apparently thought it would be a great idea to turn this into a finial for a lamp <laughs> so yeah obviously that destroys it uh, i mean it effectively gets rid of the whole bottom uh that stamp is so anyways yeah they turned it into a finial which i mean obviously that would look like a really cool finial but I just wonder if there's enough of a collector market out there that would like it as it is. Okay, moving along after that, I did manage to go to Goodwill a couple times, really. I've been managing to go over there quite often lately. This here is awesome. I grabbed it thinking it would go great in the 40s, 50s booth, and I also grabbed it because it's McCoy, and McCoy items tend to go pretty well over here, at least at auction, I see them go. It's really faint, M-C-C-O-Y. You can barely make it out there under those stickers. I did pay $3 for this, but it is in great shape. Now, when I got it home, I realized that it said set. Right there, set, $3 set. I don't know what else was supposed to go with this because whenever I was there, there were no other bowls, at least that matched this. So whatever, $3 for the one is a great price. There is no chips. There are no chips, there is no scratches, anything like that. So this will go great in the booth, I think. This here is dated from around the 50s. And as far as the name of this, I have been seeing listings call this Antique Rose. So yeah, that's about as close as I can get to a name on that. But it's transferware, not, not hand painted. Okay, I also grabbed this little dog here. It's kind of a concrete type deal, a dollar. And I grabbed it for the booth. It's a Yorkie, 1982 Sandy cast. And there she is, Sandra Breeze, I think her name is. Well, there it is. I thought it was kind of, well, there it is. I thought it was cute for, you know, for just like a dollar. A uh, little wear here and there. I think it'll sell. We'll give it a shot for like 10 bucks in the booth. This here was cute. I had to grab it to like a little pear and it is stamped on the bottom here. Hard to make out under these stickers, but it says Carlton Ware. Carlton Ware, England. So this will go in the booth. I think it's just one of those cute little things that, you know, you could put out. Uh, it's a sugar dish. So that's awesome. And it'll probably go in there for like $8. I did get this wood salad set. I haven't been buying a lot of wood items, mostly because it's hard to find wood items in good shape without lots of wear, like these show. Now, I think I'm pretty much going to have to scrap those. That These spoons don't look too great. You can buy new spoons. But the bowl set is nice, and these are monkey pod. I thought that was heavier than it was. Monkey Pod, that sticker is pretty much not there anymore because they wrapped the entire thing with shipping tape galore. There it is. Genuine Philippine Monkey Pod Wood. I paid half of $6, by the way. It was one of those half off days. And this was another thing I saw at Goodwill for a good week, week and a half, and I kept passing it up because it just didn't look very great. But I'm gonna wash this up, try to get the scratches out with a little restore wood stuff I'm trying to remember the name of that it's an all-natural thing so it's good to eat with but yeah i'm going to give that a shot it may be around the 30 dollar mark plus shipping or so i don't know it could be just shy of 40 all considered so that's pretty cool this here i had to grab it was only a dollar it's from the circus get over there it says the greatest show on earth so that would probably be barnum and bailey i guess ringling brothers i think they're all combined well, actually, there is no more circus, but 
Anyway, this is dated 2002, and that's about all it says on the bottom there. It doesn't say anything about the circus. I wish it did, because that's not really a whole lot to say, is it? No. But it's cool. It's a neat mug for someone who likes uh, tigers. I think that's a tiger. So, yeah. How awesome. And last thing I grabbed was this really neat planter here. It's a Christmas planter made by Rel Poe. I've been talking a lot about those people lately, just how it works out. So this piece I grabbed initially in a lot more, it had a lot more wear, but I went around and I painted all of the red again, or I pretty much spot treated it because there was a lot of wear present all around this red area. And now there's not. So it looks really fantastic. This is that cold painted red that was really popular, uh, 50s, 60s or so and beyond earlier, uh, where they glazed the item and then they went ahead after it was glazed and painted right over the top of it with the paint. And naturally over time and just wear, it's going to chip off. And it's really annoying. They do it a lot of times with cookie jars, I'll find. But this is a planter and uh, I did, I cleaned it up. So it's really cool. I'll put that in my collection for Christmas stuff. But uh, yeah, that's all I really have to show you. Not a whole lot here, but thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.